But yeah, man for always keep women on submission at all times, man. Uh, and how do you do that? Letting her know I ain't tolerating your bullshit. You literally have to, no disrespect to women, you literally have to treat them like they're children sometimes. You must punish them. But you don't punish them with your fist or your voice. You punish them with absence, walking out on them. Because they will act up. Feminine energy is actually quite, quite childish. If you don't believe me, go on Instagram or go on YouTube. Find women that you know or whatever in it. Go on to certain women's YouTube channels that have, they have videos with their friends, right? And there's a couple of them. They might be in a car, they might be in a bedroom, whatever in it. And see how they act. Look at how they act. No matter how old they are, unless they're like 50 years old, but young, young women between the age of 20 and 30, observe how they act. Observe, observe the silliness and the childish behavior. Not saying all women, but a lot of them are like that. They are like children. And that's cool. That's feminine energy. That's why when guys, when we act, you know, goofy and silly and stupid like that, women don't like it. They say they do. They don't like it. There's some women out there. They like guys who act like clowns and that. But, nah. You can't, you can't act like a clown with your girl. You don't have to be serious all the time. Yeah. You don't have to be a fucking mute or nothing like that, but you have to, you know, conduct yourself like a man. This is what kills a lot of relationships as well. When they start entering into a friendly vibe, where your girlfriend, it more seems like your girlfriend's like your brethren rather than your girlfriend. I know women who say that the sexual chemistry between her and her boyfriend or her and her husband or whatever has completely left the room and it feels like they're more like a roommate. Gal told me they feel like there was a maid, there was a cleaner, there was a fucking laundrette, there was a roommate, but never felt like there was the person's girlfriend or wife because the sexual energy goes out the window. When guys start acting silly and stupid and immature behavior that's not sexy to a woman yeah king henry yeah they are like teenagers yeah even aunties yeah yeah and by aunties you're saying like 50 years old i get it yeah they do they do you might not believe me go on YouTube or Instagram, whatever, and check out videos where there's women with their friends and see how they act. I ain't going to start flinging names or nothing like that, but do your research. Ask around. But yeah, there's certain times where I've chatted, spoke to girls on the phone and I felt like this interaction, although it's fun, although it's, 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 nice, it's nice to have fun with girls and stuff like that and, you know, have a have a joke and that. This interaction, and I don't know this girl as well in like, like that, yeah? This interaction is too friendly, like it's too jokey, like we're talking on the phone and we're not having an argument, but you know, like we're having a debate, I can't remember what it was about, something silly, yeah? And we're talking on the phone and we're laughing and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. and we're, we're shouting over each other. And you might have to, you know, you know, only have to just take a step back and you think to yourself, nah, fam, this is not the way I'm supposed to be interacting with a girl. It's supposed to be more of a, a sexy vibe, isn't it? That's just how I feel, isn't it? That's how I feel, isn't it? Now, watch man on YouTube and there's certain things like you can watch me, right? And I'll be saying certain stuff, right? And you'll be like, yeah, 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 yeah whatever, isn't it? Yeah, cool. But until you've experienced what I've said to you, until you can relate to that, you'd be like, rah, my man's fucking right, you know. Man watch one dating coach on, on YouTube called AMS, man. He does like, like life coaching kind of stuff like that and um, business stuff as well, isn't it, man? But AMS is fucking complete 
entertainment. Man. And the certain stuff he says, I'm like, raw, you know what? My man's right, you know? Like, there's certain times, like, there was one thing he said, right, that made me laugh. And he said, oh, um, you know, when, when your girl checks out and the sexual energy and the sexual chemistry leaves the relationship, you end up going to the fucking park and feeding the duck's bread. I'm like, blood, I've done that, you know? I've, I've done it. I've done it with a girl, gone to the fucking um, park and fed the fucking duck's bread. And that was when everything all fizzled out and the relationship was done basically and then shortly after that we stopped speaking so there's only certain stuff like you have to go through it for for certain things that people say to resonate man but um no yeah, just try try and take heed before it actually happens isn't it but obviously the only way the only way you're gonna get wisdom and become wise i don't know is when you've been through it whatever isn't it